Hello everyone, Genesis Ryder here with Throwback Clips episode number one, where I take some of my old clips from Halo 3 and Halo Reach, compile them into a kind of montage of sorts, and commentate over them and share them with you guys. So this episode we'll be looking at all my no-scope clips from Halo Reach, starting off with two okay no-scopes on Sword Base. I'm going to be jumping down on Asylum and finding an enemy sword carry in our shotgun tunnel, save my life with a close range no scope for the killing spree and picking up his sword, switching over to Spire. We have a really off the cuff no scope here, um, really wasn't expecting to get this as this guy jumps down from the top of the Spire into the yellow lift to prevent his fall damage death. This is the only custom games no scope you will see. Um, this is me no scoping Connor with a slightly delayed 180, otherwise known as Eagle Eye. Um, and then moving on here to Spire again, I look up, catch a guy off guard jetpacking on top of the Spire for the body shot kill. And then uh, a pretty good uh, double kill here as I whip my scope to the right for the double kill, almost get the triple. Uh, you're not going to see a, a no scope like that very often. Uh, almost pick up a double kill. Uh, or do pick up a double kill here during this one flag CTF game, then turn to my right and line up the no scope for the sniper spree as this one flag CTF game comes to a close on Boneyard and we win the game. Now, once again on Boneyard, I'm watching the rocket launcher spawn up in the frigate and an uh, enemy player runs by the door real fast and I miss him, so I decide to bait him back using the radar and I bait him straight into a really curve around the wall no scope. Um, so I can pick up his rockets and get some kills with those here. Now we're on Crazy King on Boardwalk. So I'm going to be rushing forward and picking up a sniper that's on the ground here. Turn to my right quickly and give this guy a revenge no scope to the head. Follow up with two sloppy shots on the green team players but end up connecting with the third shot for a long range snipe. Now I'm getting a little bit sloppy here trying to take out all of green team preventing them from getting into the hill. I'm going to run away with only one bar of health. Any damage that is done to me whatsoever at this point is going to kill me. And I line up the no scope perfectly, just moving to the left and destroying this enemy green player as he chases me. This red guy has some really bad rocket placements here on this map, but I am very patient with one red bar of health to line up the no scope to get his rockets again in a kind of similar fashion to that earlier clip we saw here. On boardwalk uh, again. I kind of jump down because I see my teammate die bottom middle, but I get in a really bad position as I get kind of stuck behind this plant barrier. I'm going to end up jumping down bottom middle with red bar health, turn around and give this guy a crazy no scope to the face to survive there. Now off the start of a sword base game of Slayer, I'm actually going to jump down here. This is the longest clip. We're actually entering the top five uh, clips here to round out the end of this video. Very patient with my pistol shots here, specifically the last shot. I was very, very proud of that. It can be hard to uh, control the pistol in Halo Reach. Uh, so I pick up the sniper again. Notice the exact same player charging out his base. Um, snipe him in the head again. And uh, the clip ends in an unbelievable fashion. Um, as I notice this guy and then off the cuff, snipe uh, the exact same player again who's using the needler to try to hit me down again. Now on Spire, we are uh, looking uh, kind of away from the Spire here as my teammate charges away with a ghost. I get the killing frenzy, then line up the double kill snipe and turn around 180 uh, for the whip scope, no scope sharpshooter shot. Very sick little no scope there. We're on reflection. This is the probably the best uh, no scope spree I've ever had in Halo Reach. That's why the clip has a little bit of length here at the beginning. Um, this is the most probably no scopes I've timed back to back. All three of them were in mid air, and just kind of incredible as I line up this second shot uh, for the double kill. Um, this next little kill is not a no scope, but it's just a kind of cool extension of the clip as I uh, snipe melee him for the killing spree. Now all the top two clips are uh, this secondary clip on boardwalk where I pick up the sniper rifle after dying to an enemy jetpacker. I notice the jetpacker's teammate. There's only two players in the enemy team right now. I end up trying to help my teammate. Then notice that he's behind me on my radar and just give a dirty, dirty uh, 180 no scope revenge on this guy. Now we're entering the top clip right here. My favorite personal clip 
Um, I was very, very patient and controlled and lethal with this no scope. I definitely would have died if I had not have pulled this off. Um, really, really giving this enemy player the business end of my sniper rifle there. Guys, that ends my throwback clips, episode number one, my Halo Reach no scope compilation. There are two final thoughts I do want to end with, but before I do, please like the video, it helps other people find it, subscribe for future Halo 5 Guardians, Halo 5 Guardians Beta, Halo the Master Chief Collection content. For sure, I'll be putting a lot of that stuff on my channel as the following weeks come up. But the two, two final thoughts I wanted to end on are, uh, first off, I did play all the Halo campaigns in order, but Halo Reach was the first game that I actually got day one, and consider it to be the first Halo game I actually started significantly improving my skill in. Uh, up to that point in the Halo franchise, I really was not that skilled, even though I did play a lot of the campaigns on Legendary Difficulty, even solo, and uh, I really improved in a lot of aspects of the game, particularly my sniper rifle skills and my big team paddle skills, where I saw a lot of teamwork composition and was really introduced to that personally. Um, up to that point, I've just been watching a lot of MLG, and that's where I saw that kind of thing. But I really got to see it happen inside the game in Halo Reach, which is really cool. So the game holds a special place in my heart. That being said, my clips and uh, compilations from Halo Reach and Halo 3 are not impressive almost at all. I have a significant problem with not only close range combat, but being able to chain together multi-kills within that four second segment that you have to get the next kill to chain it into a multi-kill, particularly with the sniper rifle and headshots, and you might as well forget about chaining together no scopes for multi-kills. So just want to throw that out there so you are well aware of that. I'm not the most skilled player at these two games. My second thought revolves around what is the actual definition of a no-scope. A lot of people coming from Call of Duty and Halo 4, especially with Halo 4's introduction of the snapshot metal, get really confused about the technical definition of what a no-scope is. So I'm going to throw out my two cents here. Please realize this is my opinion on what a no-scope should be, not what a no-scope actually is. It's just my opinion. A no-scope is a unzoomed sniper rifle headshot with a sniper rifle that does not have auto aim, or as I like to say, a sticky reticle effect applied to the unzoomed uh, scope movement of the sniper rifle that you're using. So for example, Halo 4's beam rifle would not count because it has significant auto aim attached to the unzoomed uh, sniping of that weapon. So in my personal opinion, uh, I just think no scopes are way more skillful, given that definition, than snapshots. Snapshots in Halo 4 um, and coming up in uh, the Master Chief Collection, you can get them by simply shooting someone in the body and getting the kill. And you can even get them with the beam rifle, which I don't really consider to be uh, fair. Please realize that uh, a no scope. Uh, in the vast majority of cases, is a headshot and is much more difficult to pull off. Um, a lot of people end up just moving into the no-scope instead of aiming. Whipping your reticle to get a no-scope is very rare, and you saw some of that during those clips and some of the movement into the no-scopes as well. But I just want to throw that out there as my opinion on what a no-scope is. Give me your definition or your opinion on what a no-scope is, and let me know which clips you enjoyed from this compilation video. Uh, thank you for watching again. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace.